Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and today the LEGO Group has just announced a brand new set to coincide with the new Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania movie. This is the buildable Ant-Man figure. Now, this is honestly a bit of a source of controversy for many people online, because the leaked name of it was revealed a while ago, and I know that a lot of people were actually hoping we would get a set based off of the movie with minifigures. Unfortunately, the set does not feature any minifigures, despite it being the only buildable figure where it would have kind of made sense to include figures, and instead it just has a big brick-built version of Ant-Man as well as a little wasp micro-figure. Understandably, I know that a lot of people are really upset that it does not have a minifigure of Kang, the main villain. People have been wanting a minifigure of Kang for a long time, and I just kind of want to address this out of the gate that, unfortunately, it just doesn't have that. And I really hope that LEGO will revisit the movie at some point, because, to me, while I do like the buildable figures, don't get me wrong, I am a fan of these, and not many people are, but I do actually like the way that they're built, I like the design of them, and do feel the system has potential to it in the way that it's set up. Reminds me of the good old days with Bionicle and the way that they were selling individual figures like this, the Spider-Man ones and the Iron Man one up there. Having this come out for the Quantumania movie and not having a new Ant-Man minifigure, the last one we got was for the Endgame wave, not having a new Wasp figure and not having Kang the main villain is admittedly very, very disappointing. And I really hope that, I hope that LEGO would have something else up its sleeve, but no, this is the only set we are getting for Quantumania. So, it is what it is. Again, really wish we actually got a set with figures, but if you can set all of that aside, I do think that the build for the set is actually really fun and really interesting. And I'm pretty sure that people, after they build it themselves, will be able to enjoy this build for what it is, because taking aside everything around it that it's the only set for Quantumania and why does it include figures, I mean, yeah, I don't know why either, I think it's a good build, and it's a really fun one that depicts him at the Giant Man scale, which is one that makes a lot of sense for the Ant-Man character, because he is often at that scale in the movies. So it again is a buildable figure that makes sense to display and play with alongside standard LEGO minifigures. Which makes it even odder that they didn't just throw in like one minifigure in there. Would have accepted even a $10 price hike just to have an Ant-Man figure and a Kang figure. But it is what it is. Without further ado, let's jump right in to take a closer look at the set itself. Thank you to the LEGO Ambassador Network for supplying these photos. Let's go right now. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not a bad set. I actually think this is one of the better buildable figures that they have done in a long time. Because this format was initially comprised of Iron Man, the two Spider-Man, as well as Venom, where I thought they were pretty good, but the system still had a lot of room to grow. I'm not seeing all of the suggestions on improvement that I would have liked to see, particularly ball joints for the upper legs instead of the ratchet joints, but I assume that's more because of stability rather than posability, because the ratchet joints, despite them being a little bit harder to pose, are definitely a lot more stable for kids to be able to play with the set. That being said, the rest of the build is actually pretty good. And again, this is one where it makes total sense to actually have it as a buildable figure, because you can play with it with minifigures. The little micro wasp is nice to get. I believe that's the first time we've actually gotten the micro figure of wasp in general. We've gotten a couple of them for Ant-Man with the quantum suit and then his regular suit for the different movies like the Ant-Man movies and the Avengers movies, but we've never actually gotten a little miniature wasp. In fact, the Ant-Man and the Wasp set that we got just had minifigures and Ghost, which was the main villain, so no little micro figures in that one, so it's cool to finally actually get a small little wasp to go alongside this larger giant scaled Ant-Man. Although. It does beg the question why they didn't just include, I don't know, one minifigure for it to fight. Going back to the figure, the head is actually done pretty well. I'm happy with that particular piece being used because it does kind of look like his helmet. I think the circular part is a little bit too low. There's something not quite right about it. But given that they had basically had just that one piece, I don't think they had any new element frames, aka new molds, to be able to be used for this model. I think they did the best with what they could. Getting the armor piece in dark red on a hinge is always great to see, and I like how these figures do actually have knees and ankles, so you can actually pose them. It's using the new 2023 finger joint as well, which was introduced for Marvel mechs and Ninjago mechs, so it's always good to see that. But yeah, overall, that is the only set for Quantumania, and I know that's going to upset a lot of people. The other thing I do want to touch on is that, for whatever reason, this is 30 US dollars, 35 euros, 30 British pounds, and so on. The previous buildable figures, particularly the Spider-Man ones, were only 25. Those ones had around 260 pieces, particularly the Spider-Man figure had 258. 
This only has 289 pieces. I guess it has a few more pieces than some of the other ones, but I don't think it justifies a $5 increase. But you know what would have justified a $5 increase? Including Kang. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna stop mentioning Kang. I really wish that they did include just a minifigure in this. I know that I think that the construction figures are going to get a lot of flack, maybe unnecessarily, because they have just now angered a large section of the LEGO Marvel fandom who wanted just a minifigure set. I like the construction figures for what they are. I do like that LEGO's doing them. I'm always a sucker for construction. I love Bionicle, I love Hero Factory, I loved it when Star Wars did their figures, for the most part, and I basically will get any action figure type build that LEGO will make. However, I realize that within at least Marvel LEGO fans, I am in the minority. People prefer minifigures. That has always been the case for LEGO superheroes. And if they released this alongside another Ant-Man set, I think that actually would have been really cool. Because then, you can use this figure to use and play scenarios with your figures, you can pose it with your minifigures because it's super scaled up like we've seen in the trailers, and I think people would have actually really liked that LEGO was doing it for Ant-Man because it makes sense with minifigures. But by making it the only Quantumania set released, I believe LEGO has now put themselves in a bad position, where they've allowed the fandom to get really angry at them for including only this set for the big movie that's coming out and not anything else. They had an opportunity to maybe change people's minds about buildable figures and make people be able to get them just to be able to pose them with LEGO figures and allow people to be introduced to this new building system, but instead, they have kind of done the opposite, and they have now set up a scenario where people can actually not buy this out of spite and anger because they do not want to have this be the only Quantumania set. So it's a bit of an unfortunate position, and I almost feel kind of bad for the model designers and whoever was in charge of making this model a reality because it's a really good idea. Making Ant-Man in this scale is a wonderful idea because he actually scales with figures. Again, it makes the most sense to make him in the scale, and I do generally like the build. I think it should be $5 cheaper because there's no reason it should be $30 versus $25, but for the most part, I like the build, I think it's a good build, I definitely will be getting this when it comes out, it's just so unfortunate, it's the only Quantumania set. And the launch date of May 1st is quite odd as well, although I think that's a little bit more understandable due to production issues and the movie actually getting bumped up. So it is what it is. It's not the best scenario to be in. I've already seen a lot of anger and vitriol from fans online. I do kind of understand it, but at the same time, I'm glad we're getting anything for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I just really wish we got minifigures. All right, so with that, we've summed up our look at so far the only Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania set that is coming out. This will release again on May 1st. It was because the movie initially was supposed to come out around that time. It was pushed up to come out now, basically, which is why LEGO is unveiling this product now. But what had happened was that they just didn't have it ready in time. So May 1st is literally the earliest possible date they can have it ready. It's all kind of a mess, the situation with the movie getting moved up and then now it doesn't have figures. I don't really know what was going on in the behind the scenes of why the set got so pushed back other than maybe the movie being moved up, but for what it is, I do like the set. I think that for the buildable figure series that they're doing with Marvel, we just got rumors of three more coming this summer, Batman, Wolverine, and Captain America. I think Ant-Man makes the most sense to do it out of because it is a recognizable shape and form that scales well with minifigures. But for the only Quantumania set, it is a little disappointing because, again, just really wanted that Kang figure. Although, I'm sure that people won't have to wait too long. Obviously, the next Avengers movie, Kang is the main villain. So if you're not getting him now, you're definitely getting him for the Avengers sets when that movie comes out. So just wait a few years, you'll have your Kang figure. But it would have been cool to get him this early as well. With that, we've summed up our look at the brand new LEGO Ant-Man set. It is an interesting one, an odd choice for the only set for the movie. I know a lot of people are going to be really angry about this, and hopefully it doesn't turn people off from the build figures, because I do think they're a cool concept. They actually are really good and fun to play with, but this is just going to make everyone hate them. So <laughs> you know what it is. It's how it works in the LEGO Marvel community, but hopefully people will get to appreciate the build for what it is. I do just wish we got minifigures, though. That's all I have to say. Thank you for tuning in to Duck Bricks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming away very soon, and bye for now.